Hi everyone, I'm here to show you how the account manager works pretty much. Um, well, the price is exactly the same as the account premium. If uh, you guys feel like it's necessary, I can make a video on that as well. But um, yeah, the price is exactly the same. But there is a catch. You can only activate it whenever you have uh, more than a specific number of villages. So for example, if I go, let's see, to a normal world here, a classic world, and if I try to activate it, it says I have to have two villages. Sometimes it depends on the world. Sometimes you need to have uh, more villages left, so like si like five or ten or twenty, maybe even sometimes. Um, depends on the server and depends on yeah the <laughs> perspective of the admins there. Sometimes there's no account manager at all, like in CZ. So yeah, um, a lot of the things that you can do here are um, very helpful. Even though in speeds they lose some of its efficiency. The, the farm assistant comes included in the account manager. So if you do not have um, a farm assistant activated and you activate account manager, you will have the farm assistant. So it's a good way to to not spend the, the 30 premium you would spend on the farm assistant, right? You, you just play around like... For example, let's let's say you want to have farm assistant. Uh, you you join this insane round. You get to five villages or something, which is what you need to buy the account manager, and you buy it for like 30 days. And well, you save on the you save on the premium points, and uh, you get the account manager for uh, all of the rounds in those 30 days. So in speeds, how it actually works is you can just buy a premium uh, uh, the the account manager in one round and it will last for uh, the duration of uh, the, the account manager. So here you can clearly see that I only have one village. Normally you do not have account manager with one village, obviously. But um, as I bought, you can see here, I bought um, account manager yesterday. So, well, today at night, whatever. Um, since I bought it, then um, I have it for uh, three days. So it will only expire in... Uh, the 8th of this month in uh, at this time so whether I have one village or not it doesn't really matter because I've bought it before so going into the, the features that the account the manager has um, the Ripiologo I don't know how it is named in English because this is a bit of a useless feature it is just um, kind of a place for you to see the, the stats of uh, of each village they, and like some um, some warnings and things like that. This is more useful for worlds realistically. Like here in Avisi e Consigli, it would tell you that uh, oh a farm is full or oh oh the warehouse in X village is full. That's pretty much what this does. In speeds, you, it's not like you really have much time to check this. It's uh, a bit uh, whatever. Lealta is. Um, where you get the info of the loyalty on each village. If you have multiple villages that you just recently conquered, they will appear here and it will tell you the loyalty that they have. So it's a good way to know which villages you have to worry about defending. Um, this here, this is just farm assistant set settings, you can see. So, yeah, I don't know why this is here. I have no clue why this is here. But, uh, yeah, and this Piantina del Giraggio, I... It, it shows you whether there is um, things happening in each of the buildings. So if there's something being upgraded, like now I can uh, upgrade, uh, let's see this, for example. If I come here, oh, it should, oh no, no, never mind. I, it's my bad. It, um, it tells you whether there is a manager active for uh, any of these things. So you can use the um, account manager for building and it will appear here that it is being used so if i just activate the resources it will say that it is activated and it will tell you what the next building is um and yeah this is all that there is to be seen here um you can uh, check this for uh, just a, a very over a very big overview on a specific village which i do not recommend using it's just uh, very useless at least in my opinion uh, you can just manage multiple villages, and this is just specifically for one village. I guess that in worlds it may make sense, but even then I'm not sure. Notification is... Uh, well, notifications. This is mostly for worlds. I There is no reason for you to use this in speeds. But it's 
basically for you to be notified uh, whenever you're getting attacks or whenever um, something else is happening, you can uh, you can check this, but it's a bit uh, useless for speeds. And I guess not even for worlds, if, if you're active, you don't really need that. The building manager is the most important um, account manager feature for the speeds. So what do you need to do with this? Well, there are, uh, this is the main overview. You have three default templates, the resources, the defensive and the offensive. It says uh, system template. Um, you can just assign them here. You can click on the village and you can assign the template and you can confirm and it will adapt the, the building of your village to to that model. So basically, now, well, I don't even have to upgrade anything because um, my account manager will just do the work. And while it is pretty slow, because this feature is clearly made for worlds, this is a 380 speed round, and that it goes up to 400. Um, it still does a pretty good job, and it's good for you to not have to worry about buildings. It is probably the best feature in, in speed worlds, and this is basically the reason why people buy account manager. Um, of course, it would be very weird if you couldn't make your own build uh, templates, so you can click in GTC e template. If you want, you can copy from other templates. Uh, let's say you want to adjust the defensive. You've, you've been using the defensive model for a bit. You see there's a problem with it. And you say, okay, let's adjust it. You put a random number. You can click edit. And, oh, okay, the warehouse doesn't go to 30. Okay, I click 30 here. Uh, but I want the warehouse a bit earlier on. So I can just move it, whatever. And you can just make changes to templates like this. Or you can create your own templates from scratch. So you can just come here. You can put a name and copy from your own template you can create and you can start building your village however you would like. Um, I could give some templates for building but I I think they are very very um, dependent on which round you're playing and what your objective is so I don't think it makes sense for me to to say oh okay this model is very good because it really depends on what your objective is. So I would just recommend you to to just sit down in some round like this, where you're not playing, but you just spend some time to to figure out how this works and to create your own models for different rounds, different scenarios, and yeah, I think that's, that's what you should do. Um, you can also take this, this is, imagine you conquer a barbarian village that has um, a market at level 20 or something and in your template your market only goes up to 15. If you click this it will demolish the extra market levels for example. So it's it's just a matter of uh, occupying less space in your uh, in your farm basically and of uh, just having your villages at um, at all at the same point at the same points when they finish the production. So that is pretty much it for this. You can also import templates if a friend of yours gives you a template, you can click import a template and you can put the code here. Let me go here to the templates that we have. Where is that? Uh, do I not have it? I uh, am yeah, models. We have some templates here. I, I, I spent some time making some templates. So let's, for example, I just click here, I import and I can just save and uh, yeah, now I have another template here. And yeah, you can just work around these things. You can make your own templates. You can ask me for some if uh, you if, if you think I could help, then maybe uh, I can. You you can just ask ask me for some template and uh, yeah, you can try it out and tell me what you thought about it if, uh, if there is anything I should change. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the buildings. You can uh, pause the um, the account manager as well. So if you don't want it to do anything, like let's say you are uh, waiting for resources to 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 recruit a noble. You can just come here and pause. You can continue it as well. And you can um, do this as well. You can remove all of them like this. Like this, it doesn't have anything anymore. You can uh, pause and resume uh, and you can uh, cancel everything. So yeah, you can do all of this with this. I don't know why this appears in the top and at the bottom of the page. That's interesting. But yeah. Also, if you have multiple villages, you need to change this. The max is always 999 just like on everything else. So that is something I recommend doing, especially if you're playing uh, around with a lot of villages. 
the same thing here it's uh, the same thing in every single page so here it's the recruiting manager you do not have to have a template here you can just put some troops here and select the village and it will start recruiting but but you can also make your own templates these are a bit weird the templates here there is no importing right but i mean that's fine it's it's just putting some numbers in it's not as complex as the building one so you can just build your own templates and you need to be careful because there's some bugs here if you click salva here it will like all, all of this will disappear so you need to click create a novo template and if you want to edit it you need to click on this button copy values and then click salva because if you click another if you click create a novo template again it will just create a second one that is the same like these two buttons they should not exist at the same time it doesn't make sense because one is for when you're editing and one is for when you're creating a new template but yeah this is a, a problem with this so if you're using this be careful but basically you just add your troops here you create your template and then you assign it to the village that you wish to assign um, with this you will be able to have troops being produced meanwhile while you're doing something else but the truth is that in speeds this is not very useful because this builds a maximum of 50 troops per um, per each troop so it, it builds 50 vikings at a time right um, and the truth is in a normal speed 50 vikings is like 30 seconds if, if your barracks is at a good level so you do not really do not really need this instead you should just use the master crate which is something I might do a video explaining on in the future. Um, it uh, is very slow, but well, it's it's a good backup if you're fighting or something, and you want to make sure that at least something is being produced. You activate this. I always activate it. There's no reason not to. It is slow, but well, it at least does something. So if I'm distracted or or, or like forget to one troops in at least it will it will do something it's not the best feature but it is it is what it is the research manager well it appears like this at first you can click just tc templates and you can just make a template you can only copy from your own templates if you do not have more templates but this is very simple um what you want to do here is you just select the things you wish to, to research so for example let's say this is the build for uh, for an offensive village i can just save and yeah next time i can go here and assign this model to a village this is most useful for um, rounds where uh, the research levels are not um, one level research so if it's a um, three level research or uh, a 10 level research round this will be very very useful for rounds with normal research levels it is it is quite useless although it might help if you are um, conquering a lot of villages at once things like that you can just activate this and it will eventually uh, research everything on every village you can even just uh, put everything because there's in a speed round it doesn't really matter so you can just do that and yeah everything will be researched the yeah the biggest use of this will be in uh, rounds where uh, the um, technologies the research is uh, level research so if it is the, the three level research the 10 level research this is where it really is very helpful so you should look at that uh, basically when uh, when you are on one of those you you you'll find the things like this that ask you if you want to to demolish the ones that are excessive so for example if you are in a three level research round uh, you can um, you can turn that on if you for example if you conquer a village from someone and it was a defensive village but you wanted to make it offensive the researches that your opponent did were probably defensive researches like level 3 spear and level 3 sword right so you will activate the um, the demolish um, higher levels than necessary and then you can make the manager just adapt to to what uh, you wish to to research so while as in normal rounds this is a bit useless in rounds where the 
researches by levels, this is very, very useful. The only, the other features on the assist or on the account manager are very useless in general. This here is a, a sort of um, account uh, of a resource balancer. But for this, you can just use the script by Shinko Tokuma that I told that I talked about in the scripts video. Um, basically, this um, just um, just makes it so, like once a day or something, the resources are are balanced. I guess it's not terrible if you're playing a world, but on speeds, you can just ignore this exists. It's useless. Um, this, I honestly, I do not even know what this is. I guess it is to to send mass resources each day. Like it's like a resource planner for each day. This is for worlds. I honestly do not know much about how this works, and it looks very useless for speeds. So there is. There is not any reason for me to talk about this. But yeah, that's pretty much all about account manager. Overall, very useful feature. There is no reason for you not to buy it. Um, it will help you managing villages. It is very, very useful. And yeah, I hope this helps you understand a bit more on how it works. And if you have any doubts, just comment or uh, ask me in Discord and I will be there to help you.